First, uh, firstly, I would like to touch about the, the so-called Indian condition in the works of uh, Said Tajuddin. Uh, we must understand also that uh, this, this so-called so phenomenon is also contingent to the, the time and place. When he left Malaysia, it was, in, uh, it was 1965. And when he came back in 1974, it was a totally different Malaysia. The, the Malay cultural, Malay cultural dominance is, is the main thing in the whole national cultural policy. And another thing is uh, the May 13, 1969 riots, which had a very, very big impact on the whole social, political, economic landscape of Malaysia. And uh, when he came back, you know, of course, because he came back from India, it is it was uh, much of the things was uh, still very fresh. What he encountered, what he experienced, and what he interpreted from where he came from. So he was he was actually caught in a in a very strange situation. That is why, you know, he was uh, his uh, his role was sort of were questioned by the other artists then because and then there was this uh, Islamic fundamentalism from Iran where the rise of Ayatollah Khomeini where figures are uh, what to call it the, the figures are not not accepted especially in the Islamic scriptures although Mogu painting they, they, they have that as part of the whole iconography so when he came back he was he was caught in this uh, he, he he found it very difficult to sort of uh, uh, put himself in the whole context of the Malaysian art uh, Malaysian art but eventually you know he, because he, he has a he, he, is a, he has a he has a version vision he has a vision and he he, he believed in what what he did and uh, it, it must. It, it takes time for him to gel and to him for him to get back to the whole uh, Malaysian scenario and you know, and things like that. Before when he came back, he was doing the Ramayana, which is uh, I think 1972, which was a uh, very very dark, you no, know, because from 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 where he came from, and there were all these little little cell like kind of things, you no, know, so which is a. Uh, Quite ambiguous, and it's also very, uh, it's also very uh, related to to the time and his his experience. But when he came back to Malaysia, you no, know, you will find that the colors are very very much brighter, very very much vibrant, because you no, know, because of the multiculturalism, because of the because of the the intrinsic colors, you no, know, that we have, you no, know. that is why he's. Uh, and that's when the, the, the whole the whole perception, the whole uh, colors, no, they they change, no, and it, it crystallizes to what, what you see today. No? It is uh Sai is, is 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 very firm in his belief of what he wanted to do. Although at that time very few people, very few people saw that. Uh, I mean I don't blame them because no, they, they thought that hey, you know what what is this? No, where where are your roots and things like that? No, because, no, because he had a he had a time where he came back to Malaya because he was born in India during the war, no? because the parents ran ran back to India to, no, to uh, to get away from the Japanese occupation. So when he came back when he was eleven, no, he was a, no, he was still everything is still very very nice, very hunky dory. It was a whole different. It was. It was a uh, Malaysia in the gestation period because the various various races are very much different. No, they are they are more open-minded, and then everybody was very excited about independence. No, and 
independence is something like a uh, something like is 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 like a, a a piece of cake with all the ingredients of the various races, you know. And everybody is like still trying to experiment. Maybe you put a little bit extra sugar or or whatever. You see, so so when 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 he came back, you no, know, he he managed. That is why you find that quite a number of his paintings. I think there were at least ten paintings which he uh, of the Merdeka series where you no, know, he actually actually showed his nationalism and his love for the country and his patriotism. So. That's where the, the 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 spirit came from because he was there. The the father took him to Esplanade, although he was not not in Kuala Lumpur where Tunku you know, did his uh, did his uh, uh, his honors. You know? But you no, know, from there he, it was a very very joyful thing. But when he came back, you no, know, it, it was the whole scenario has changed. A lot of the uh, artists who went back to India to study, like Chandiran, uh, Siva Natarajan, Aljega, no, it's, it's a whole whole different thing because they came from a totally, completely, absolutely Indian background. Whereas Said Al Judin, when he came over, he was already a third generation at least, no, a uh, Indian Muslim. And that is why you see in his paintings, you have everything, the the draftsmanship, which is very very good. His draftsmanship is exceptionally good, no, quite. And then the most extraordinary thing is about his colors. How he, how he developed his own very very unique you know, color spectrum, you know, which is you know, which is actually uh, tremendous and which is a, 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 a great and a very significant contribution to Malaysian art. Because you know, when we talk when we talk about Malaysian uh, Malaysian art, we always talk about colors because of our uh, of our uh, weather, our climate, and our people, our festivals, and all all these things. So this this is something very, uh, very important, and this is some contribution which needs to to be looked looked into. And uh, as and he has he has the also he he works by series. He has different kind of series. Of course, his historical series, and then his series based on uh, legends. You no, know? before that, if before that it was Ramayana and Mahabharata a bit, and maybe even Omar Kayam or whatever. But later on, no, when he came back, you know, he looked at our own, uh, our own scenario, and, and he came. He has his uh, uh, Masuri, he has his Putri Gunung Ledang, and also a little bit about the uh, the fables in Sabah. You know? So it was it was when 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 he he, he looked into all this, you no, know, that you you can see that he is he is a uh, very very sure of his direction of where he's going of what he he wants to do